Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valhalla Zia 3, guys. We are literally recording this right after last episode because we've encountered a problem. Our power gen is, uh, it's not doing too hot. If we come up here to our wind power, uh, yeah, we, we're not doing too hot. Actually, I think we're okay for now. It's going up slightly. Uh, yeah, but it's fluctuating big time because our quarry is now, uh, back up and running again. Um, if we go back over here to the quarry, yeah, so we're getting all this stuff and things, um, and so we really can't add any more of the, uh, the times five processing to it, but my, the first one I did want to do was the uranium, just because it is a big component in making the fizz fizzle fuel, and if we have a, a big supply of that, this will make it much easier. So, we're going to go ahead and work on the fizzle fuel production today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to come, like, put it into one of these. Um, it's the goal. It's a hairy goal. Uh, and I think I'm going to put one here and then one in the opposite corner there. And then we will get some quantum entanglers. Or I might just make that middle room here the fissile fuel production area. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not, like, sure at all because we do need... We do need a lot of stuff, uh, but I do have some of the materials for the other the other guys here. Or we could make, oh yes, we're gonna make this area here the fissile fuel generation spot, because okay, I didn't break anything else. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we actually have like this whole corner here that we can go ahead and use. So we're gonna use these two areas to produce our fissile fuel, our fish fish fissile fuel. What are you called? Fissile fuel. <laughs> this guy here. So this is what we're going to be producing in each of these. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to make up two of these guys. We got them here. Hope we have enough stuff in our inventory. I, I love having this crafter crafting grid all the way over here. It's so amazing. Okay. We made one of them. Can we make two? Yes, we can. Booyah. Okay. Perfect. So this is going to be like our, I guess, our mechanism processing room, kind of. And we're going to want to have, hmm, this is uh, an even number. Um, hmm, hmm, how are we going to do this? Okay, let's go ahead. So power is going to come in the bottom of this guy. And we're just going to place these down for now. I think we're going to have these guys like here and here. And so then the fissile fuel will go down here and into our system. Yeah. Okay, yep, we gotta, we gotta figure out where we're going with everything. Um, so yeah. Or wait, do we need the bottom open for something? Oh, we can't have the bottom for that. Can power come in the top? It sure can. Or oh, wait. Energy, yeah, power can come in through the top. So we might just power it from the top there. Okay. Uh, perfect. So let's work our way back. So we, we're here. Uses. Fissile fuel. So we need uranium hexafluoride. So to make this, we need our chemical infuser. Um, we're going to be using, yeah, we have one here. Um, probably going to put it backwards like this. And so, wait, maybe not. Maybe we put this guy here and this guy on top. And then pump that down, maybe. Maybe not a bad idea. We need to work our way back. Okay, I'm getting too ahead of myself. So uranium, chemical, oxidizer. We've got one of those. This is the big thing for our... Okay, this is why I made the uranium, because we need a lot of the, the cake uranium thing. Um, so actually this needs to go probably here. We need, how do we get the cake uranium? Okay, we need to, we need, okay, give me a sec, I need to figure this out. Okay, so this is our fizzle, fish, fission, fissile fuel, fissile fuel production, this here. This looks so easy compared to this, like this won't even be a challenge really to get into there. Um, I'm pretty sure I can actually condense that into the right area. Oh, yeah. I think I can. 
And we're going to try. So, yeah, sulfuric acid. That comes from here. Okay. All right, so I'm taking a look here. So we're going to work on the uranium. Okay, so we have the end product that we want. Rotary condenser. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten machines to create. That's gonna be a cakewalk. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be putting it in that other area. I lied. Okay, so I'm gonna get all the materials we need, and then we're gonna go over there and build it together. Okay, so we're working on it now. Uh, we, we have this powered up. Uh, so the uranium comes into here. Let's go ahead and grab some uranium just so we can get the flow going. Uh, yeah, so uranium comes into here like this. This gets processed up into the, the cake stuff, this yellow cake uranium here. And then it goes into a chemical guy that we're gonna place here like so, right? Yes, perfect. All right, and then items. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, it's because of that thing. Okay, so. Item, bam, like so. These will get pushed out the top, jacked on, comes over here, gets uranium oxide. Uh, so this might not be the final resting spot for this guy, unfortunately. Um, yep, so here we go. Uh, this needs to go into a chemical infuser. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do, take this chemical infuser, we're going to put a gas cable on top here, like so. Place this one on the back, like so. And then for power, Probably going to have to run it here, maybe. Okay, so then this guy's got power. Uh, and then... Gases output. Oh, this is the wrong cable. Where are you at, gas? Gas, right here. Did it again. There we go. And then, yep, there we go. Uranium is going in. Perfect. Okay. And then we might be able to place this here. If we can put the output, the gases down like so, like that. And then the input for gases. Yep, top. Perfect. Okay. So that should theoretically work up to there. Uh, now we just need the other side. Uh, we need the hydrofluoric acid. So let's get rid of you. You. Actually, let's just get rid of everything. Um, hydrofluoric acid is what we need. So this comes from sulfuric acid, which we can make pretty easily now and fluorite okay so chemical dissolution chamber is what we need um probably here let's go ahead and change the rotation of this to like that uh we will block that there we go okay so fluorite needs to come into here and then we also need some power. So we can have the stuff come in from the front and then the power come in from the bottom maybe. Oh, nope, can't have that there. Might need to do that. Well, no, I don't know, we might need to move this up top. We'll find, we'll find out. Okay, so the chemical dissolution chamber, this is exactly what we need going in. Output, eject on. Okay, so when that fills up with the sulfuric acid and stuff like that, it should be okay. Yeah, sulfuric acid, hydro. Yep, and then it comes up into here. Perfect. Okay, so now we just need to get the sulfuric acid in here. 
which we will do from the front. Okay, so sulfuric acid is our next task here. Um, water vapor should be an easy one to do. Let's see here. Yep, rotary condenser. Do I have one of those? I do not believe I do. All right, rotary condenser. We just need the sink and the water for this one. Perfect. Got a lot of extra items here that I don't think I need. Okay. So water vapor is good to go. We need oxygen and then the sulfur. The sulfur comes from this guy. All right. So we will go ahead and put you like that. Bingo. Bongo. Wongo. All right, so we got our sulfur here. Let's go ahead and put the sulfur in. Again, so we can trace everything, get a plan going. Bam, that guy goes here. All right. So this sulfur is being converted into this guy. Sulfur dioxide. Perfect. But we need to make trioxide. Okay, we do need just the oxygen from the tank. Perfect. Okay. All right, so we need an electrolytic separator. We have the sulfur dioxide. And then the oxygen. Yep, so we need to set this guy up so that the oxygen stays alive. It's got power. Uh, we can go ahead and just do fluid cable here and then this here. All right. Go ahead and get some water going. Okay, so we need to get rid of the hydrogen. We just need the oxygen, gases. We want that going up, right? Yep, oxygen and this guy. So if we put this guy here, we will be and put, okay, I guess you're there then. Oh, this was on the wrong way. I forgot, we, we placed it the back way. Um, so we need to flip this. Yep, look at that, okay, perfect. These will then combine together. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move this guy just for now, just so we can get some power back in here. Okay. Nope, we need that, dang. Okay, sulfur trioxide, perfect. We need to combine that together with what? Water vapor, okay. So another chemical infuser here. We will be exporting out the right. Yep, there we go. So we need the rotary condenser here. Exporting out the top and then getting fluids from the bottom. But it's got no power. Just kidding, it's got power. There we go. Okay, we're making water vapor. Perfect, gas is output on the top. And then we need to set this guy, so that's the, like that. Getting our sulfuric acid, perfect. And then if we come over here, should be able to do this. Yes. Okay, so yep, we're getting our sulfuric acid that we do need. Oh, whoa, 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 we're down. Okay, let's go ahead, place these there. We'll go ahead and upgrade those later on. Um, but we need to find a way, I believe, well, that needs power there. This needs power. We need to find a way to get items into this guy. Um, So if we remove this one, this is the only device that doesn't have power now. If 
replace this like this, and then maybe like that, and then break this. Okay, yep, everything's got power. We can set up an exporter to put that there. And then that guy there. All right, so we got the uranium oxide here. Uh, we need the fluorite, okay. Where are you at, fluorite? There you are, we got 50,000 of them, perfect. Throw that in here. And there we go. We're starting to make the uranium hexafluoride thing. Yep, here we go. And then this goes into the fissile fuel, and we're good to go. All right, can we export? Oh, we sure can. Look at that fissile fuel. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. What does this do? Uranium oxide. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Want to make sure that was okay. There we go. All right, so we got our fizzle, fission fuel here. Fissile fuel. It's working. That is the process for it. Dang, fissile fuel is automated and in a three by three area. Now, is there any way we can break one of these off so that we can run the fissile fuel cable down? Oh, fissile fuel is a gas, right? Yes. Actually, yeah, we should be able to run it around. Well, well, we're gonna have to get a, a quantum link guy anyway. Um, yeah, that needs to be gone. All right, sulfuric acid, what, what's the holdup? Water vapor is working like a dream. Oh, we're out of we're out of this guy. Okay, that's no problem actually. Perfect. We just need an exporter here. We need two exporters. All right. Whoops! I whoops did not mean to do that. That is going to be an issue later. Okay, so here, here, oh, we need actually need three. I lied. And here, we'll go ahead and connect these bad boys together. All right, those are good. Booyah, okay. So now, all we need to do whew, is get these exporting the right thing. So we get sulfur dust, but it being, but a boom. Okay, so this guy needs to be sulfur dust, like so. All right, this guy needs to be the fluorite. And this guy needs to be uranium. Okay, so this is, we need items to be coming in the back. Yep, there we go. That's working like a dream. That's working good. And that's working, yep, perfect. All righty. So we're gonna run this around. Yeah, let's go ahead and make the quantum guy. Quantum entangler. This guy here. Alrighty. There we go. Ah, dang, we gotta go to the home base. Alright, so we got our quantum entangler here now. 
Uh, we're actually just going to go ahead and chuck him right here, right meow. All right, and then we're going to make a new one. Fizzle fuel. Bam. Set him to that. All right, so this is going to get power, and we're getting our fizzle fuel. Perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first fizzle fuel one set up. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and make it look good, too. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is not what I thought. Boom. Man, that is sweet, guys. Okay, so the only spot we'll be able to see when it's all done is from the front here. I don't think we can look down really into anywhere, uh, except maybe here. Yeah, so we pretty much just fill in where we possibly, where we can. But yeah, this is the fizzle fuel setup. Everything is running. Uh, it's all automated. We just need to put some speed upgrades in here and stuff like that. Uh, but this is the next step into creating some better power. Uh, but that is going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Love your hair. Bye-bye.